Welcome to another edition of Reyes Power International. Today I want to talk about wrapping your knees for the deadlift, especially the conventional deadlift. Now, as we get older, we tend to have less stable knees and you are required to lock out the deadlift in a competition. Now, when you lock out that lift, it's putting a lot of pressure on that knee or knees and those knees tend to want to go backwards. You need support in that knee with an unstable knee and with a lot of weight on that unstable knee. So we're going to talk about how to wrap the knees for the deadlift. Now the key to wrapping a knee for a deadlift is the placement of the end of the wrap once the knee is wrapped. It's got to go out to the side. So we're going to start with the wrap, work our way up the knee. Just like we would in a squat wrap. And then when we come around, we want to make sure that knot, that end of that wrap, is on the side. Because when that bar comes up, at, as the deadlift progresses, you don't want that bar to get hung up on that knot. So this is the way we wrap our knees for a deadlift. Now, I've got to chuckle at some of the comments on the internet about using knee wraps and deadlifts. Uh, some people think it's going to cause too much compression. Well, I mean, look what you're doing when you squat a thousand pounds. Your knees are actually able to withstand a lot of force, more than we can even put on them, okay, and lift properly. Now, sometimes you have accidents, people aren't lifting properly. That's another story. But, you know, Lamar Gant, he used to wear. Uh, knee wraps at uh, at times and i know it, it at least helped him mentally i can tell you for a fact that my weakened knee i don't have that pain at the lockout uh, on the deadlift the conventional deadlift like i do uh when i'm not wearing wraps um uh, you know it's gonna it's gonna give you some more rebound there's no question about there's gonna give you more rebound at the at the bottom uh when you start the lift uh, the only obstacle, again, is, is the, uh, the knot, and uh, again, the, the way to overcome that is to uh, place that knot on either side of the knee. Uh, as far as being able to uh, put baby powder on your legs and uh, ride the bar up your legs, that's, that's going to be a bit of a problem. But, uh, you know, there's problems with everything. There's a drawback to everything. There's, uh, there are benefits to everything. So you just have to experiment. As we always did in the old days, that's how we learned to lift back in the old days. There was no internet. You just have to experiment and see what works for you. Well, let's take a look at uh, me trying out those knee wraps with 135 pounds. Lots of speed, no hang-ups, no problems at all. As you can see, I had no issues with the uh, knee wraps. The bar came up fast, no hangups. I remember T Skinny Man Myers out of Georgia at the, uh, I think it was called Python Gym, uh, always wore uh, knee wraps in the sumo deadlift and taught all his gym members to do the same. He's a world champion pulling over 700 pounds and uh, no problems. He, he's the one that taught me how to uh, to wrap for a deadlift, to, to have that knot on uh, either side of the knee. So uh, I'd like to thank everybody for tuning in once again, and we'll see you soon.